Number two, letter A. What is the resistance of a 1 times 10 to the 2 ohm, a 2.5 kilo ohm, and a 4 kilo ohm resistor connected in series? All right, so I got two pictures on the left. This is series. This is parallel. You definitely want to become familiar now with, uh, you know, how they look. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to highlight, all right, the same colors. So here's the 1 times 10 to the 2 ohm resistor. Here is the 2.5 kilo, uh, kilo ohm. Here's the 4 kilo. Okay, in the bottom picture in parallel, it's going to be there's one of them. There's the next one. And the one after that is here. So if you notice, you know, just the general difference between the two is that uh, when you have resistors connected in series, let's say current is, it doesn't really matter. Don't worry about this for right now. Just, you know, just pretend current's either flowing clockwise or counterclockwise. Don't worry about it at the moment. But in order to, let's say, if the current is flowing uh, counterclockwise here, excuse me, no, clockwise, <laughs> um, in order to get to this resistor, it has to pass through this one and then that one. That's what series is all about. In order to in order to get to, let's say, these two resistors, it has to pass through this resistor, okay? But when they have a parallel arrangement, and we'll assume the same thing, that current is flowing counterclockwise right around the circuit. It's starting here, and it can go around. To get to this resistor, which is the same as that one in the series, all right, it does not have to now flow through the blue one or the yellow one, okay? As you can see, the current can simply just bypass them. That's parallel, all right? Basic idea. So now that we have that out of the way, uh, let's calculate, okay? So for letter A, calculate the uh, re total resistance in series. We know that the resistance in series is just simply going to be adding all those things up. you got to make sure, though, you got the consistent units, please. So I don't care which one you do, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm going to convert everything into ohms, all right? Not kilo ohms. But you can certainly give your answer in kilo ohms, it doesn't matter. So this is um, 1 times 10 to the 2 ohms is the first one. The next one is going to be 2.5 kilo ohms. You know that's 2,500 ohms. And the last one is 4 kilo ohms, so that's 4,000 ohms. So when you then add these all together, you know 1 times 10 to the 2 is just 100. Right, so you're basically taking 4,000, adding 2,500 to it, so that's 65, plus then another 100, so it's going to be 66, all right, ohms. So 6,600 ohms, that is. Now you're going to do the same thing, got to make sure you got consistent units. For letter B, it's asking what about now parallel, so it's going to be 1 over the uh, resistance in parallel, will equal then 1 over the first resistance, which is 100, plus 1 over the second, which is 2,500, plus 1 over the third, which is 4,000. Now just take this and plug it into the calculator, all right? So 1 over 100 plus then 1 over 2,500 plus 1 over 4,000. You're going to get a value of about, so let's move this up maybe a little bit so we have a little more space. So you're going to get a value of approximately now, careful with how you solve for this, 1 over RP will equal now, I'm just going to do a decimal, so this is going to be 0 0.01065, okay? That is not the answer yet. Because we have one over the resistance in parallel. We don't want to know one over it. We want to know just RP, right? Or in other words, RP over one. So consider that this value is over one on the right-hand side. And if I want to flip this side of the equation, then I got to flip that side of the equation. So in other words, I can solve now for my parallel resistance over one is then going to be equal to one over 0 0.01065, and that's now what I'm going to plug into the calculator. So it's going to be 1 now divided by 0 0.01065, and I get a value of about 93.9 or so. So the, val so the resistance parallel is 93.9 ohms, and that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Be well.